All right, students, page 42 and 43, which is the end of the chapter review. Uh, we went over these in class on uh, yesterday. If you were in the Thursday class, um, it says change the fractions with different denominators to similar fractions by finding the common denominator. So for number one, if you have two fifths and three over seven, I want you to first do your timetables, your five timetables and your seven timetables. Tell me what they have in common, which is 35. So I will write this one over here just to make sure you have a clear understanding. So two fifths and three over seven. Okay, so my common denominator will be 35. Okay, like so. Next step, five goes into 35 seven times. Seven times two here is 14. Seven goes into 35 five times here. Five times three is 15. These are called equivalent fractions, so this is your answer. Both of these are your answers. Okay, that was... Um, okay, so the next set asks you to reduce. So this is just a review of what we've already done, but I just want to make sure you have a good understanding. I think having uh, lots and lots of examples and being able to look at it again uh, helps you get stronger in math. Changing uh, mixed numbers to improper fractions here. We know you know you multiply and add. Reducing your fractions. We're, we've been reducing or simplifying our fractions already in class. For the next set, I want to make sure you can add as well as subtract fractions. All right, the multiplying and dividing are similar to what we've been doing already. Okay, so I hope this video helps. If I need to demonstrate one, please send me a, a email or a, if you need a specific problem. Okay, on the back page, 29 through 34, um, here's the keep change flip. So keep three over five change the division to multiplication and do the reciprocal or flip the second fraction, which is 20 over seven. And you may either cross cancel or multiply straight across, but please simplify your answers.